Grill This, Smoke That is generously supported by Oven Brothers, makers of handcrafted Canadian-made wood-burning outdoor ovens for inspired chefs. Visit us at ovenbrothers.ca. Oven Brothers, from our family's backyard to yours. Grill This, Smoke That is brought to you by Furtado Farms. For all your outdoor cooking needs, they're your premium source for cookwood. Whether it's pellets, chips, chunks, or logs, they've got you covered. Visit FurtadoFarms.ca for more info. Kettleman's Bagels is proud to support Grill This, Smoke That. Kettleman's, makers of wood-fired Montreal-style bagels using only premium ingredients. With three Ottawa locations, Kettleman's menu is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Burgers. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it brings a smile to my face. Who doesn't like a really good burger? Oh, yeah. Tell us a burger you're going to make us. Uh, we're going to do a uh, uh, ground bison burger okay. um, with a uh, chili topping. Ooh. Yeah, pretty exciting. Are we going to do anything on top of that chili or just leave it the way it is? I think we'll just leave it the way it is. I think beef on beef yeah. or bison <laughs> on bison is just great. Okay, so we're going to do a very, very simplistic burger. Yep. Uh, so we're concentrating on the meat. Yep and nothing else yep. and it's a very simplistic burger so what we're going to do is we're going to take that wonderful bison meat and we're going to put it in that bowl we're going to take uh, i think that would be a little bit of garlic because yep. we both love garlic yep. and of course we have some onion and again you can add whatever you want to this burger but we're keeping it very simple because it's going to have a lot of incredible condiment put onto it so we're going to give that a good mix. You don't need egg, you don't need breadcrumbs, you don't need any filler. All you need is really, really good meat, yeah. uh, really great vegetables, um, and maybe a little bit of seasoning. And in this yeah. case, we're going to be using my fire lick rub. So you've got everything that you need in there. You've got garlic, chilies, black peppercorn, green peppercorns, um, a little bit of kosher salt. Essentially, that's all the flavor that you need. You don't want it over the top because we've got so much more that's going to be going on with it. So once we've got a really good mix, we're going to form it into patties. Now, if you wanted to make a really big thick patty, you could, but I prefer a thinner patty so that you have more crusty goodness and you can still bring it to that medium rare um, flavor that we all enjoy or that, that degree of doneness. Uh, a well done burger, uh, I, I'm not a big advocate for it. I like mine a little bit pink yeah. because you gotta trust the meat that goes into it. Yep. And that's a perfect burger. You know, it's it's thick enough to actually uh, get on the grill and work properly. And if it's really thick, that's beautiful too. It's all about what you enjoy. So now that we've got our burgers made, yeah. we're gonna go to the grill. Well, we fired up our Kamado and we're aiming for a really good grilling temperature and good grilling temperature is about 550, 600 degrees. We're doing burgers, so we want a really nice hard char on it. So we've set up our Kamado for 550 to 600 degrees. We're gonna take our lovely burger, and we're just gonna lay it on the grill, and we're gonna let the grill do the work. 